So in the episode entitled Scar, where the heavy raider was chasing you, but you suddenly did that barrel roll, so you're behind him. You remember that? Yeah. That was awesome. Thanks! Hi, I'm Rudy Jashan, and I'm here with Luciana Caro. Hi. <laughs> who played Cat on Battlestar and sadly had to depart the show last season. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of us fans, you know, we, we followed the series along with Cat as she, like, you know, started off with, like, small one liners here and there, but developing this whole huge character. So, like, how did you start up on the, on the show? Um, I auditioned for it, and uh, I got the role. And because you actually told like a fascinating story regarding the Xbox. Yeah, I brought my Xbox uh, control pad. Well, it wasn't really mine. It was one of my friends I had borrowed. Because I didn't have a DVD player at the time, so he lent me his Xbox. And that was what I was playing DVDs on. So I brought the Xbox control pad to the audition. And um, I used that. I imagined that I was like, you know when you watch kids playing video games and they get like into it and they're like, yeah. You know, so that's what I did. And apparently you actually and got into it when you actually got into the cockpit later on. Yeah, and I pulled my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of acupuncture and massage. And so, like, you were saying, like, it was just one or two lines at first, but next thing you know, like, when did they get to you, go back to you and say, okay, well, we want to start b building out your character? Well, they didn't really tell me that. They just gave me the final, final cut script, and I was like, wow. You know, I got a nice little storyline there. I had, you know, a drug problem and on the, on the show, and that was kind of cool. And uh, Who doesn't have a drug problem on that show? I know. Well, I think Kat had it pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of decking people. Yes. <laughs> decking Starbuck uh, is probably one of the defining moments of the character. Where, you know, your character is always, like, a almost the mirror counterpoint to her. You know, she, you know, they would always try to build her up and say, oh, look, she's so tough, but your character actually was as tough and yeah. actually better in some sense. So when Scar came along, so uh, how was that like on set when you had to actually go through that entire episode of Scar? I mean, it was, it was so much fun. It was a lot of pressure because, I, you know, it was the first time that they, they really did a lot on Cat, so I had to really do a lot of character development in that episode. But, um, I mean, punching Starbuck was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> very ladylike behavior when you did that. It was very well done. So are you working on anything uh, else right now? Um, I just finished, well, I, yes. I'm shooting this independent movie called um, Fast Track, which I think is called Urgency now um, with Regent Films. And um, we haven't finished shooting it. You can't tell us anything about it? it yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like a thriller, suspense kind of movie, I get kidnapped and gagged and tied up and thrown in a basement. And totally different than Kat, because she, <laughs> she can't fight this girl. She gets kidnapped, oh I can't tell you the rest. But <laughs> she gets kidnapped and she's uh, totally defenseless. So, um, but we're not finished yet. You're not finished yet, so no. you don't even know what's going to happen? No, they keep pushing the shoot dates, the pick up, the pick up dates, so. Now, of course one big thing for any actor is when their character dies, right, on, on a show. So. Uh, how, I don't know, traumatic was that for you or not traumatic? Well, I mean, it was devastating. And I, I always say that because it really was. I was really devastated because I didn't see it coming, you know, and nobody warned me about it. I don't so. think anyone saw it coming. Nobody warned me about it. So it was, um, I had to, you know, say goodbye to Cat real quick. And uh, it was sad. Battlestar, one of the hallmark, hallmarks of the series, is just what a fantastic cast it is. Yes. And you mentioned that one of the high points is working with Edward James Olmos. Yes. And, I mean, uh, can you tell us part, part of the reasons why? I have so, a tremendous amount of respect for Edward and um, everything that he's done for the Latino community. Um, I think he's a first-rate actor. Um, and he's just so down-to-earth and humble. and approachable and he's like a father figure to the rest of the cast you know actually the crew and the cast everybody so yeah that's awesome and apart from that I have to also say like like compliments to you because uh, like I said before going up against Starbucks and also means that like going up against you know uh, Katie Sackhoff's acting mm -hmm. but it's just one of the great things of the series how this, you know even the second tier characters have that strong acting quality and and so, I mean, does that carry over with, with some of the relationships of the characters having relationships, I guess, 
outside, like, as, like you know, like the, the friendships and all that stuff. With the other, with the other actors. Exactly. Well, a lot of us knew each other from the Vancouver acting scene, so oh. we all kind of a lot. Of, there's a lot of Canadians on the show. We don't say. A lot of Canadians on the show, so um, you know, many of us knew each other from before the show started. Um, and yeah, and we a lot of us still do keep in touch. So if fans okay. want, if fans want to reach out to you, how can they do so? Well, <laughs> there's a new um, there's a new website that just got launched a couple days ago um, that my fans created. It's called uh, the website is LucianaCaroFanSite.com. Cool. And uh, it just uh, it just launched a couple days ago, so I'm really excited about it. My fans put a lot of work into it, a lot of love, and um, yeah. So. How do you feel about the fans in general? Oh my god, I love them. They keep me going, you know? They've just been absolutely so loyal and um, supportive of my career, not just in Battlestar, but everything that I've done. And um, they just, they keep me going, you know, when times, like right now is a really slow time in Hollywood, so it's, you know. Writer strike. <laughs> yeah, the writer strike really affected a lot of actors, you know, and it's like, we're just recuperating from it now, so it's just nice to know that, you know, they still, you know, they send notes and letters all the time and hit me up on MySpace and on the fan sites and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. So, the final question, of course, has to be about the final Cylon. So, do you have any idea who the final Cylon is? I have no idea. Mm -hmm.